Unity has dug their own grave. And now the big question is, will they lay in it? For those of you who don't know, Unity has encountered a significant amount of backlash this week after tweeting, effective January 1st of next year, we will introduce a new runtime fee based off game installs. In layman's terms, this means if you release a game developed on Unity, they will keep track of the amount of times your game is installed. Until you hit a threshold of 200,000 installs, they will begin charging you a maximum of 20 cents per install. The prices change depending on license tiers, of course, but if you opt for the non-free version, you will find yourself paying thousands up to tens of thousands yearly just to use the license. And now, on top of that, you need to pay for runtime installs. And if you do opt for the free personal version, let's hope you don't release a game for free free that gains success, or sell a game and have your game get illegally pirated and installed on many devices across the world because you will be responsible for those installs. Now I'm all for Unity charging something to recoup money for hit games published through their free license, yet this is not the way to go about it. Unity is currently targeting everyone for absurd amounts of money, which will especially impact indies. And remind you, Unity Pro costs over 2000 US dollars per seat and Unity Enterprise or Industry is close to $5,000 per seat. These prices are not fair to begin with for indies because a game that takes three years to create for a team of five will cost around $30,000 before taxes and fees just for licensing and support. So is my math correct? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It seems that the only way around this would be to upgrade as you are going to publish your game and hopefully within the next few months or within that year you're able to provide all of the future updates and hot fixes to your game. Otherwise that amount is not sustainable. Unity would go on to provide Q&A highlights, question and answer highlights to which they would change their answers to. Days later they would receive internal death threats, yes by employees working for Unity to which they had to close two offices and cancel a town hall meeting. It was also reported by numerous sources that Unity CEO, who was the previous CEO of EA, sold over 50,000 shares this year and purchased none. Following this announcement, many developers voiced their concerns, including developers of hit games like Cult of the Lamb, which I kid you not is featured on Unity's homepage. If you guys want to go to Unity's homepage and scroll down a bit, Cult of the Lamb then followed up with a TikTok video claiming it was a joke, but are against this new price strategy as it hurts indie developers. And so why are developers pissed? For starters, it's not as easy as, hey, let's go use something else. It takes many years to learn a game engine and develop a game. Many developers create assets to reuse for multiple projects, manage teams, or studios who are already comfortable and familiar with the product. Unity is the best choice as it's flexible, has a large community, and arguably the best asset store available for any game engine. Unity also reported not too long ago they remain the top game engine of choice, with 61% of developers surveying to use their engine, and they are the second most popular choice of mobile ad network, being right behind Google AdMob. This change is also accounted for all Unity games published currently or in the future. And if you have a game that's out in the wild, you can potentially find yourself being responsible for thousands up to even millions of dollars. Given your game blows up, you take no action, or if someone pirates your game and decides they want to install your game on multiple devices or manipulate the system to charge you creator multiple times with malicious intent. What makes this especially worrisome is that you can imagine games consistently get promoted through distribution platforms such as Steam, Epic's Game Store, Nintendo eShop, so on and so forth. And if your game is free, it may cause you to go bankrupt. Many questions asked, it seems Unity didn't think this far ahead. However, they did follow up with another post on September 13th claiming that, that this only impacts 10% of their customers as if they wanted to state a message to individuals saying that you're not even part of the conversation. They would also go on to attempt to clarify further by answering questions, yet this would backfire. As a day later, they were caught updating their answers without informing the public, to which they were called out. And as of right now, unfortunately, many developers just have no idea what they're expected to pay. These individuals are even posting spreadsheets publicly on Twitter, hoping Unity would clear up the confusion and reply back. And as far as the reputation goes, their last two posts combined of over 12 and a half million views at the time of this video, to which they received 3.7 thousand likes. And 
stocks have fallen dramatically going back to mid 2022 this looks like a desperate attempt to recover some money i'm pretty sure with enough time someone is able to dig up a series of events that led up to this change i mean with the ceo who was previously working at ea you don't have to dig far However, taking more from the developer after already one is paid for the engine licensing, paid for platform charges like Steam already takes 30% of all sales underneath $10 million, on top of paying royalties for publishers, payments for publishers, and taxes, this change gives very little power to the developers and with this business practice unity can decide in 2025 that they want more money and they want they have the power to do so so you may find yourself paying more and more money also it's important to note unity is also closed source which means that they can deploy whatever code they want under the hood and keep track of consumers as for them they are pretty confident they can calculate runtime installation numbers while detecting improper installations or fraud use this means they've been tracking data for quite some time and that's something to consider as of now unity is still arguably the best game engine of choice to develop on they even advertise that they power 70 percent of mobile games and so i don't see the game engine going away anytime soon or large enterprises turning away this additional runtime installation charge will most likely not put a dent in large companies who are already paying thousands per seat to license the engine and besides the developers this also hurts the game gamers and experience of game. I mean quality of games have been already tanking to new lows of recently where developers are bashing each other for going the extra mile to put out a quality product like we saw with Baldur's Gate. We're living in an age where it's normal and acceptable. Toss DLC and microtransactions your way. And for you developers who are impacted, hopefully you find justice and Unity offers some sort of reasonable middle ground to stay afloat financially while continuing to deliver a quality product.